Welcome to the Oregon Statewide Assessment System Training Modules. This module provides training for Oregon's statewide science test and is required for district test coordinators, school test coordinators, and science test administrators. This module will address the topics of test scheduling, administration, and resources. Planning for test scheduling ensures that students have sufficient time and resources to complete the test. The OSAS statewide test windows for the 2022-23 school year are listed on this slide. Each test opportunity is subject to a 20-day expiration period which begins the moment the student first logs into the test. Please note that the expiration period used to be 45 days. This marks a change for the current school year. For more test window information, please see Appendix A of Oregon's Test Administration Manual, or TAM, and for more information on pause rules and test expirations, refer to Section 6.4 of the TAM. Students in grades 5, 8, and 11 take the OSAS Science Test with the expectation that at least 95% of all students participate. This requirement is the same as previous years. Students in grade 10 who have completed advanced coursework in science may challenge up and bank a passing score to fulfill their grade 11 testing requirement. Test administrators should contact their district test coordinator or DTC regarding the challenge up process. DTCs who need assistance should contact their ESD partner. Finally, grade 12 students who did not get their grade 11 opportunity may also test. More information about requirements for statewide testing can be found in Appendix A of Oregon's Test Administration Manual. Students in grades 5, 8, and 11 will have one OSAS science test opportunity in that academic year. More information about testing time and recommended order of administration can be found in Section 5.1 of Oregon's Test Administration Manual. Student inclusion information can be found in Appendix B. Planning for test administration ensures equitable access for all students. During testing, students may only access materials explicitly identified in the detailed list of content area accessibility supports found in the Oregon Accessibility Manual. For example, students may not access materials such as class notes, electronic translation devices, or cell phones during testing. Before a test is paused, students should be allowed to finish responding to the items presented on the screen, if at all possible. If the student pauses the test for fewer than 20 minutes, they will be able to review or change any items they've already completed when they resume the test. If a student pauses for more than 20 minutes, they will not be able to return to the previously answered items when they log back in. It's important to note that if a student pauses the science test for more than 20 minutes while working in a cluster item they did not previously complete, they will be allowed to continue working through that item when they resume the test because it had not yet been completed. For more information on test administration, consult the sections of Oregon's Test Administration Manual referenced at the bottom of this slide. Scratch Paper is a non-embedded universal tool that should be made available to all students throughout the duration of the test. Scratch Paper may be retained between test sessions to allow students access to their notes for any tasks still in progress. If retained, Scratch Paper must be securely stored between test sessions. When retaining Scratch Paper, TAs should direct students to write their names or other appropriate identifying information on the paper, then collect and inventory the paper at the end of each test session. Retained Scratch Paper must be kept in a securely locked room or cabinet that can only be opened by authorized staff. Upon completion of the test, Scratch Paper must be securely destroyed. For more information about secure handling of test materials, look at Section 2.4 in Oregon's Test Administration Manual. Oregon provides several support resources that can adequately prepare both teachers and students. The OSAS Science Sample Tests are available on the OSAS Portal at osasportal.org. Sample tests provide examples of the types of test items students will see in each grade band of the OSAS science test and should be used to help students become more familiar with the format of the test. 
The sample tests also allow an opportunity for test administrators and students to try out the accessibility supports available before using them on the actual OSAS science test. In addition to the sample tests, the OSAS portal also includes links to the calculators students will encounter in the science assessment. The calculators embedded in the OSAS science tests are the same ones embedded in the OSAS math tests in grades 6 and up. It's very important for students to have time to practice with science item types. Before testing begins, point out the grouping of information on the left-hand side of the screen and the questions on the right-hand side. There can be a lot of information for students to process on a single screen. Some students will interact with items that contain simulations. Students should practice with these items in the sample test to familiarize themselves with some of the technical aspects of simulations and to become more comfortable manipulating the simulations prior to sitting down to take the actual test. While they can be used to inform teaching and learning, sample tests should never be used to evaluate student academic performance. Several resources exist to support teachers and students in understanding and preparing for the OSAS science test. The Test Administration Manual, Oregon Accessibility Manual, and OSAS Portal have been referenced on previous slides and are linked here. Links to the science test blueprint summary and item specifications are also provided here. These resources can help teachers better understand the OSAS science test and inform their instruction to better prepare students for success. This is a great point in the required training to pause and discuss these or other questions, as well as to ask questions of your district or school test coordinator. We've reached the end of the OSAS science state test training module. Please reach out to your district or school test coordinator or the specialist on this slide with questions. Thank you for your attention and good luck this year.